is cheers and skål, two mutually interchangeable greetings? Let's find out. <coughs> Listen, I got a bone to pick with you buckos regarding your rampant scolding. Don't get me wrong. The Viking reenactment and online neo-pagan communities have always been trash, but in some regards it seems to have gotten worse. Worse and worse in recent years with the cancerous broification of the Viking subject matter. I could have yacked about many different things today, but I will concern myself with the popular interjection Skull, which overlaps with but is not exactly the same as the English cheers. Long story short, if you're one of those assholes who use skull as a general hat tip, you know, uh, thumbs up or greeting, then um, you should stop right now because you look like an ass. Not to be confused with Old Norse os. That's a completely different thing. And if you're guilty of the former, you're certainly not the latter. In Scandinavia, language has not yet regressed into that inflated meaninglessness of the English tongue. The words we speak still have some kind of semantic content specific to the situation in which they are expressed. To a Norwegian such as myself, the words, hi, how are you, is still an actual question. Now call me crazy, but I still live in a world where good means good and fine means fine, but that does not seem to be the case with most of you fuckos. Americans are all too eager to crawl up between the legs of this whore of Babel. I simply refuse to bow to such linguistic promiscuity. While it is true that skull in certain cases may be translated as cheers, it is better to say that skull simply means toast. That is, the ritual performance of drinking to express goodwill or respect. Saying skull in just about any situation outside of an actual or implied or symbolic drinking context doesn't really make any sense. You say skull when you're either about to drink, or you might say skull if you're making a joke, you know, because you, you wish you were drinking something else than what you actually are, or, or, you know, as, you know, out of jest. It is not a general greeting. Unless the context sort of implies it, I have on many occasions certainly written skull at the end of an email, but that's because I drink all the time. Especially when I'm replying to messages from you guys, because that is probably the only way that I can actually get through it. I know it's been around for decades, but it is kind of puzzling to me how this became such a thing among the Sweeaboos uh, to begin with. Why don't you give me your hot take in the comments below? While the phrase does exist in the Old Norse language, and while it also exists in all the Nordic languages, the phrase has its origins in the fact that people across the Nordic used to drink out of communal feasting vessels that were passed around on festive occasions. When you say skål, you're basically saying drinking bowl. Originally, people would have said shit like, I drink this solemn toast in your honor. May you have... But, you know, it was just too fucking long. So instead they got to the point and just said, you know, the signifier of the toast itself. And I assume that a similar development uh, occurred in the case of cheers, but that does not mean that these two words are mutually interchangeable in our respective languages. Now, the fact that communal drinking vessels go way back into Nordic prehistory, far, far back beyond Old Norse, uh, is totally irrelevant for the case I'm trying to make here. There's no evidence whatsoever that Skål was employed as a toast in Old Norse culture. Now listen here, you son of a bitch. If you're not physically holding a beverage while you're typing that Skål, don't fucking type it at all, dipshit. I'm gonna make a personal promise. Whoever writes Skål in the comments below, if I ever meet you in real life, I'm gonna give you a noogie for free. <laughs>